Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to add icons to the menu items in dashboard. In the previous videos, we have already seen how we add the menu item and very basic on icons. This video is covering a little bit more into detail how to add these icons how to use the font awesome library and the gif glyph icon library um, that is supported by shiny dashboard how to use classes to uh, add effects to the icons if you see this uh, e example dashboard we've got uh, multiple icons we've got a basic very simple icon uh, before the dashboard menu item we then used a class to increase the size of the icon you can see that it's a bigger dashboard uh, or tachometer icon then uh, the same icon we uh, used a different class to rotate it by 90 degree we have got a spinning effect on the icon we've got a border on the icon and we have given a custom color or a styling to the icon we start with loading the required packages and then we have got the standard skeleton in the fluid page I've got the dashboard page dashboard header we've got the dashboard sidebar and also the dashboard body uh, uh, underneath now we'll focus more on the dashboard sidebar because this is where we have got the menu items uh, let me tell you that these are the links which you can open and uh, look into um, these two links uh, are about the um, font awesome class examples these this uh, um, link takes you to the font awesome uh, portal where you've got uh, different icons and you can uh, look at them then I've got another link here for the glyph icon site and this is another library which is supported by shiny dashboard now let's uh, start with uh, playing with icons I've got a menu item here uh, within the menu item function I've defined the name as dashboard the tab name I'm not going into tab pages but um, uh, just put the placeholder tab name as dashboard and the icon is a tachometer which we are using the second menu item I have here is a dashboard 2 and the same icon tachometer but in this case I have used the class FA FA represents um, uh, font awesome and the class I'm using is LG so it says FA hyphen LG means uh, a little bit um, in um, um, large size um, than the uh, normal size of icon you can have 2x you can 3x and and so on then I've got uh, another menu item dashboard 3 and this time what I'm doing is same tachometer I'm rotating it by 90 degree so I'm using the class saying fa hyphen rotate hyphen 90 let's move on so I've got another menu item here uh, settings uh, I'm using the icon cog this is coming from font awesome library now one thing to call out that when you when you're using font awesome library um, you don't need to specify the library as font awesome by default uh, it checks uh, the name of the font in font awesome library had it been a glyph icon we would have specified the library name now here we are using a spin class so we say class um, equals fa hyphen spin and then uh, we have put a style here we are also telling that it should spin on its axis so we are saying um, text dollar style um, fa spin class text align center this will ensure that uh, the icon spins around its axis then we have a um, pulsing uh, effect so we say class equals fa pulse 
it uh, rotates the icon in eight steps then we have given the border effect uh, by saying class equals fa border this is an example where we have used a glyph icon library and um, uh, if you recall i mentioned that when we are using glyph icon we have to say library equals or lib equals glyph icon so that uh, whatever name we specify here it checks into glyph icon library then i have used here uh, another icon a square icon and uh, here what i've done is i've uh, defined some style i have filled a yellow color in there so I have, i'm saying icon equals square i've defined a class as my style and then i'm, I'm defining the style text dollar style my style which is the class and the color is yellow this gives this uh, yellow filling in the square